Jana's lovely lynx coat transformed into a throw. Jana's coat was a short waisted jacket made out of lynx. We did not use the lining or the leather that was part of the coat. And the completed project. Here I'm deconstructing the coat. Since we're not going to be using the lining, I'm going to take it and the leather and I'm just going to bag all that up and return it all to the customer. So with this particular coat, it's a lynx, and it's a beautiful lynx, but it's kind of small. So the owner of this coat um, wanted a nice size throw. So the idea that we came up with together is to use a faux fur that complements the fur itself going to be using this fur on the border of the coat and it really picks up the colors so nicely that once we put it together it's going to look really really nice. The customer purchased three different faux throws and we picked the best out of the three. So here is what the coat looked like deconstructed. As you can see, it is kind of small. This is what it was or what it looked like after it was cut and put together. Adding the additional border on top and on the bottom, and this is the faux fur. Clipping it all together. And that's what it looks like attached. So the fur that I have here is a lynx fur. Absolutely beautiful but a little too small for a regular throw. So the the length that I got from here to here was only 34 inches wide which is not very wide at all. But I do have here for the width it comes out to approximately 57 inches wide which is great but we're missing the length so the customer and I decided that we were going to try to use a faux fur with the same color values as the original fur so we did uh, use one particular company and I'll have the link in the description um, and we tried three different ones and the colors we tried a lighter one uh, mostly brown and this particular one this one actually has a really nice variation of color it has the darker and the light so when you do move the fur you can see the different color values on the inside of the fur this was the closest one to the links and we wanted it a little bit darker on the edge the lighter one would not have looked good and what I really like about this particular fur is that the length of the faux fur is perfect it moves really well and like I said you can see the different color values on the inside and the length is approximately the same length as the fur so I'm going to use two borders. The border for the top and the bottom are eight and a half inches wide. So that makes the 35 inches now 50, which is definitely much better if you're going to be using it 
as a throw in the home. The side borders, because the width of it doesn't have to be quite as large, the side borders are only going to be three and a half inches wide. So they are going to come here on the sides. And when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to look quite lovely. Let me show you what the fur side looks like. So what I did here was we had our natural fur and I combined all the different pieces and I did have to match up the stripes of the fur to the best that I could. And then I added the border. I used a straight stitch as well as a zigzag stitch. I didn't sew that on my fur machine. I really want um, a connection between the fur and the faux fur to be a little bit wider than the fur machine actually makes. So it's going to look really nice. It's going to be very well constructed. And then after the side pieces are put on, I will add, again, like I always do, my lightweight cotton to pr help protect the fur on the inside. And then a uh, backing that will complement the fur. The side borders have been sewn on, and that is what the completed throw looks like. Here is the skin side and the fur side of the throw. You can see where the connection is. That's the border. It is 50 inches long by 63 inches wide. That is the backing. And here you have the completed throw. Close up of the fur. It is so pretty. This is the connection between the fur and the faux fur. Just lovely. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. I took the darker lining because I think it complements the edging of the faux fur very, very nicely. Come visit us at DynastQuilts.com.